What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day at the office, I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwintipsy.wordpress.com. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Hello, friends. Welcome into a special edition of Sports from the Couch. It is our interview with the UFC women's flyweight champion, Nico Montano, about her fight against Valentina Shevchenko at UFC 228 this Saturday, September 8, 2018, live on pay-per-view from Dallas, Texas. They are in the co-main event. She has an amazing story. It was a very cool interview. So I hope you all enjoy our interview with the champ. But before we get to Nico, here is a quick message. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwintipsy.wordpress.com. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, mikemercado2333. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day at the office, I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else. And how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Thank you for keeping it with us. Here is our interview with the UFC women's flyweight champion, Nico Montano. Enjoy. What's going on, champ? Hey, Mike. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you uh, for taking some time for us. Uh, I know you know you have a couple important things to do, like, I don't know, defend the UFC Women's Flyweight Championship or whatever this weekend. Uh, how excited are you? I'm really excited. Um, it just means a lot of hard work and dedication. And it's going to be, you know, going to pay off. And when it comes to something that I don't think a lot of the fans get a chance to see, and I think the UFC is doing a great job now in, in those series behind the scenes and, and those YouTube videos, but can you just give us a little bit of a game plan that goes into a fight like this? Because, you know, Valentina is a, it's a, it's a killer. You're a killer. This is a hell of a fight. It's the co-main event. What, what was the process like getting ready for this and the camp getting ready for this fight? You know, as soon as I was done being sick, as soon as I was done healing from my foot injury, I uh, kind of just got right back into into it. Mm. And that took some time off, about five, five to six months. Time, and then as soon as I was capable of jumping back into a full camp, um, I had no time to mess around. You know, right after my surgery, right after I was able to 
like eat real food for my hmm. complex and I was able to get back in it. Now, when you have, you know, these type of injuries and you're recovering and how important is it to really not just, and I think this is something that a lot of young athletes make a mistake in is they don't listen to their body. How important has that been in the recovery process and, and the process of defending your title to really learn and, and learn all the cues that your, that your body is giving you? I did a pretty horrible job about that as well. I went into the fight with Roxy with mm. a broken foot. And I think, you know, at that point, it was just like after I healed from my, my foot injury, my body was just, no matter what I was trying to do, you know, I was trying to jump back into a, a camp, but I was I kept getting sick. And so I had to keep going in for antibiotics. And my body just kept putting me out on the sidelines. You know, I'd wake up and I'd have some, you know, whatever's floating around in my throat. <laughs> it sounds really bad about the other teammates too and you're like okay i'm not gonna get them sick so i had to sit out um i think if i was able to if i listened to my body before that i wouldn't it wouldn't have gotten that bad so looking back now um you know and in theory i would have liked to have a little bit more time because right like i said right after i got sick i was living off antibiotics for so long it messed up with my um like my internal everything my internal system my metabolic Everything was just off, and so it was kind of hard to get back into shape, let alone back into a camp, but that's what I dove right into. Um, listening to your body, though, is definitely number one. I mean, you're not going to be able to – you're not going to be able to perform at your optimal level unless your body's 100%. And unfortunately, that's not what we do right now, you know. Mm. For us fighters, we got – you know, we only make money off of the fight, so I have a fight here. You know, I, I need to get back to work, but um, your body for the rest of your life. So definitely, definitely listen to it and keep it healthy. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwindtipsy.wordpress.com. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, mikemercado2333. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Another day at the opera, I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. It's one of the most fascinating things that your sport has to offer is it's literally a sacrifice of everything. And I think what's so exciting, and I think you can hear in your voice is how pumped and ready you and the team are to get this behind you and move forward. And let's get a little bit into UFC 228 because look at this journey. It's almost like in the movies, this journey had to end with a opponent that's you know, a, a rock in a hard place. It's the immovable force and the immovable object. You know what I'm saying? Like, you two are, this was almost destined to happen. Two of the most talented women going at it. It's a comeback story for one. It's a solidification for the other. There's so much on the line. There's so much respect. You know, have you guys gotten the chance to take the time to see this whole thing play out and, and realize, like, hey, we got here. We did it. All the hard work paid off for this moment this Saturday in Dallas. Yeah, you know, um, I think I've always had that, that mindset of just appreciating where I'm at in that moment um, and never taking my situation for granted. So, I get, you know, especially coming from a tiny place, look at you down in Arizona, and then um, being able to succeed in, on a stage such as the UFC, it's pretty mind-blowing to myself if I look back at it, but I can't really get into that just yet because, I, you know, I'm not done yet. 
And when you guys get to this point, what what do you think, at least in your opinion? And, and we're going to get into some fun stuff in a little bit because I think everybody wants to get to know the champ a little bit. But taking care of a little business right now, what do you think is the X factor why you're going to walk out still and still, hashtag, and still flyweight champion this Saturday? I think Valentina's looking for an easy fight at 125. I think she thinks for all of her problems are going to be solved coming down to a weight class. But I think a lot of people thought that in the tough house and look where I'm at now. You know, a lot of people over looked me because of my rank. I was ranked 14 out of 16 and and I'm the champion. So, you know, I don't let anybody tell me who I am or label me as such. So I think that's going to be my, my strength for sure is my mental game. I'm going to just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. 25 minutes is not that long to be doing something. Has it hit you yet that you're going to make that walk into the octagon and when they announce you two warriors, you're going to be the reigning defending champion? I know you, you and you're professional and, and you know you keep things, you stay on target. Like Han Solo said, you stay on target, but that's kind of cool, isn't it? It definitely is. You know, look through like Instagram or just floating through the, the internet right now. My face pops up. It's really, really mind blowing. It's really. Like, just to be where I'm at right now is, is deep for itself, obviously, because everyone got to see my journey through the tough season, but it's still just so mind-blowing. Um, so, you know, at times it can feel like it gets overwhelming, but... All you got to do is get off the internet. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up because I think you're literally in the perfect position, you know, with certain things to go certain directions that you're in this women empowerment, well-deserved movement that we're finally getting in sports. You know, we're seeing Serena kick ass and there's just so many great things in the UFC and MMA. And we've had some of the greatest on this show with like Joanna. And I, I want to know your perspective. I'm very interested in this. How do you and the and the the Lady Warriors over there really embrace the fact that you're going to be part of this generation that girls are going to look up to? And there's literally little girls right now emulating you women. That's just that's such an honor, you know, to be in a position to where you'll have my little sister looking up to me. There are a couple of moms on the show. And so to be the best that we could be so that when they watch, they know that they can go, they can go far. You know, there's no limit. There's no stopping to what they want to accomplish as long as they push each other. Um, I think that season, there is a lot of support. There is a lot of sisterhood. Even though we were all fighting each other, um, we kind of knew where our battles were and then kept it there. You know, it was kind of just like going to work. And I think as females, we're kind of used to that. We're used to having multiple roles. Um, of responsibility and, you know, being as feminine as possible or being as, as delicate as possible, but also as powerful as possible. And I think that that show dem definitely emulated that. Before we let you go, Nick Champ, I'm super excited. I'm so honored to have you on. I can't wait to see the journey around. Let's get a quick fun one out of the way first. When you aren't kicking butt, when you aren't training and when you aren't healing and being a total badass, what do you like to do on your free time? I like to play my guitar ah. <laughs> yeah i like to play band i like to go to yoga if it wasn't anything to do with working out it's definitely playing my guitar <laughs> awesome that's cool <laughs> all right champ uh what can fans expect this saturday when uh you and valentina steal the show at ufc 228 oh exactly that a show made for entertainment <laughs> We are super excited. You have a home here in Chicago. Good health. Good luck to you and the team. You know, keep keep doing what you're doing. The grind is real, and, you, you know, some good stuff is coming down your way, including uh, whatever happens this Saturday. There's uh, It's going to be a hell of a ride for you. We're really, we're really looking forward to it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. A huge thank you to the fine folks in New York for setting this up, to the UFC, and, of course, to the women's flyweight champion, Nico Montano for giving us so much time just a few days before her huge fight at UFC 228 this Saturday, September 8, 2018, live on pay-per-view from Dallas, Texas, as she defends her UFC Women's Flyweight Championship against Valentina Shevchenko. It's going to be a hell of a fight. I cannot wait. So good luck to the champ, Nico Montano. Cannot wait to see UFC 228, Woodley versus Till, and the co-main event of Nico Montano versus Valentina Shevchenko for the Women's Flyweight champion but that'll do it for us here on sports from the couch a special edition interview with the ufc women's flightweight champion nico montano if you would like to see more of what we're up to behind the scenes follow me on instagram mike mercado 2333 follow me on twitter at m mercado 2333 like us on facebook at mercado airwaves subscribe to us on youtube youtube.com slash mike mercado 2333 subscribe to us rate review and share us anywhere you get your favorite podcast 
at Mercado Airwaves. And of course, thank you to all our sponsors at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. If you'd like to get these episodes ad-free or before anybody else, or if you'd like to showcase an ad or a brand to our huge, diverse group of audience, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Thank you all so much. Enjoy UFC 228, and we will see you next time here on Sports from the Couch on the Mercado Airwaves Network. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that at the office, I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support.